can you hear me? Is it good? Oh, jeez. Need to turn the decibels down, because that's a little loud. Welcome back to another video. Now, today, we're going to be... Okay, let me just start that over, sorry. How am I gonna start this off? How am I gonna make this a unique thing that's different from all filmmakers to make myself different and to bridge out into the YouTube platform? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be looking at some b-roll and how to shoot some awesome b-roll So let's get started Anyway guys, I'm sorry for that intro. My name's Ian and I do YouTube videos like this all the time for amateur filmmakers like you. And if you're not an amateur filmmaker, then just watch me anyway because you know, you're wise and you know that to support people and I don't know what wise people think. I'm not wise, I'm an amateur. I already told you that. Anyway, as you saw in that B-roll sequence, there was a lot of transitions and things that I did. Um, so basically I'm gonna start off with transitions. When you think about b-roll, what do you think about? Now when I started out, I thought of b-roll as people talking about a product and then shooting video of that product overlaid on top of the a-roll which is them talking about that product. Now I'm pretty sure that's what b-roll is supposed to be but people have been using the term for all kinds of different things and basically now it means anything that isn't what is this me talking to the camera anything that would play after I said something or before I said something that would be b-roll so I plan to use b-roll when I'm talking about a product what you should think about when you're doing b-roll is to keep it fast paced because people's attention spans for an unplotted thing like b-roll it doesn't really have a story behind it I mean yes it technically does one guy walks from here to there then he does something then he does something else or some guy jumps off a building and then dies and then the ambulance comes and then they take his blood so basically you want to have your b-roll fast paced now that leads me into music choice you have to choose the right music to go along with your footage to make the audience interested in what you're trying to show them. Keep it fast paced. Now one way to make a fast paced b-roll sequence but not make it so choppy because you're making so many cuts so fast is to use transitions. Now I used a lot of these in this b-roll sequence I shot. I used a lot of pan up transitions, pan swipe transitions, but there's a lot more variety of transitions you can download for your editing software. Now, if you're using Movie Maker or iMovie or something like that, they probably don't have like cool transitions like you saw that I did. And actually, I didn't even use like a transition pack for mine. I just literally swiped the camera and then swiped the camera in the different thing and cut it right in the middle to make them in the motion blur like I'll make a video soon about it, but anyway, use transitions to help make your video flow better instead of having it choppy. Now, that's not to say that you need transitions every single shot. I still had sharp cuts, but it's when I wanted to make an emphasis or when I just forgot to swipe the camera. Now I might make some videos that don't have any transitions or some transitions that don't have the swipey flow stuff. And that's because I want to make the music pop. Now, one thing I want to do in the future is find one song that has so many distinct beat, like, I don't know, something like this. Boom, 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 boom. Or actually not, but like, for example, in Casey Neistat's videos, he has that intro that goes, ba 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 and each of those ba 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 is a different shot because it matches the music and that's what I love about every single one of his intros is goes ba 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 
That's what I like. So I eventually want to make a B-roll or make a habit out of making B-roll like that where it matches the music and all these different shots. Now it's going to take a lot of footage to do that, but I don't really care. It's going to look freaking cool. Next is your color grade. Now I literally have the most simple color grading process um, ever because I literally just make it how it's supposed to look like and then that's literally all. I don't try to make like a look per se. I don't try to make it look kind of a ready, vintage-y, no, 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 I just make it look like a normal. And that's probably because there's nothing really interesting or good looking in the image anyway. We're not shooting it in golden hour. It's not in some big grassy field that we can turn red to match with the sky or whatever. It, like, it's just a bunch of different colors and when you have that, it's really kind of hard to make it a distinct look. Also, I have a Lumix camera without V-Log, so I'm not getting the most information out of the shot that I get, but it still works. I still did a little color grading, and I think it looked all right. Now, an investment you can make in B-Roll is getting a gimbal or like a steady cam. And I mean, you don't need it if you get the camera strap or whatever, but you know, I kind of lost my camera strap, so that's why I might buy Zach's Garland's, Zach's Garland's, Zach Garland's gimbal, like, I don't know, maybe in a month or two, um, Zach, if you're watching, maybe you can give me like a little discount. But anyway, you want to have your B-roll stable. Unless you're going for a handheld look like the shot that I did with my brother running. It was a handheld look. Now, when you have handheld, don't make it extreme. Don't make the image look like this. <laughs> Just have kind of a subtle, like, bounce. Not really. Anyway, that is the basics to doing B-roll. How to do B-roll. If you thought this was a trash video, go ahead and give that a thumbs down. Up. Watch the video again so I can get those views. Make sure you're gonna subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification and always do what you love. Yeah.